Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Michael Landfield, a YouTuber, spiritual coach, and world peace diet facilitator, and author of many books on veganism, spirituality, our connection and relationship to other animals, as well as nature and each other. So I wanted to talk a little bit about today, a little bit about um, fulfilling our purpose, trusting our intuition, and not just going by what families are saying or feeling guilty that, you know, we need to be around our children or grandchildren or that we'll miss our city or things like that. So in my search and in my research, in my quest for understanding who I am, as well as understanding the world, society. Um, in my latest book, Awakening the Good in Humanity, which is not yet out and not yet published, I talk about how cities are no longer viable. Cities or even towns are no longer viable places to live. Because first of all, they're not producing, or at least most of them are not producing any food. Food is coming from outside in, of, in rural areas. And so the whole idea is to go back to nature. You've lost the connection with nature. Go back into nature or close to nature and start growing our own food. Start being self-sustainable with our food, water, and electricity. And most of us are not doing that. We're relying on governments and government systems for support for all our needs. So for water and energy needs, as well as supermarkets or even local farmers markets, we are relying on others to produce or to provide us with our needs that we uh, or need to survive. I mean, we're not there yet at breatharianism. We're not there yet at prana living. And so we need to eat. We need electricity in order to share veganism with others. And I want to show you one thing that I recently got from my soul path partner. Not your mama, not your milk. So... This is a great shirt that she gave me. I'm so happy. Thank you, Aurora, for the shirt. And and um, I'm going to be leaving this place in Colombia, Cartagena. I've been here for about two months in this city. And this is all the time that I want to be here. Even though I love Colombia, we're heading on down to look for property. Most likely in Ecuador, we'll see how that goes. Uh, we don't know yet exactly what's happening, but we have somewhat of a plan. And um, yeah, we're just really seeking to build a community and to be fully self-sustainable with like-minded people. But we can't do that if we are living in cities, no matter, especially if you're, we're living in places that we can't grow food all year round. So no matter if you have if we have a greenhouse or if we're you know growing some food indoor, we're not going to be able to get all our food. Now I tell people to grow as much food as they possibly can, even if they're living in apartments, to grow food in containers indoors. But that's just really not sustainable, long-term, viable. Uh, cities are not viable especially if the winters are very long. So if you live in Canada, Northern US, uh, in Northern Europe, or, I mean, that's, that's, these places are not sustainable. We are tropical beings by nature. And in the tropics, there's not just hot weather all year round and dry season and, and, and rainy season. There's so many different types of weather and climates because there's different elevations, there's mountains, there's jungles, there's beaches, there's so many different elevations. So we don't have to be scared, first of all, to go to these places. 
they're not humid heat bombs um they're not i mean i'm in cartagena and cartagena is a pretty warm place pretty warm and humid and i think the most humid and warm place i've been to but this is not the only place this is just a big city one where nobody needs to be in we need to all go out to nature and grow our own food and uh, be self-sustainable and so let's forget about families our our blood family let's forget about you know let's let's think for ourselves it might sound selfish that we're thinking for ourselves that we want to do something for ourselves but if we can't do something for ourselves if we can't trust our intuition and, and we can't follow our dreams and our path then what are we living for are we living just for our kids to support our kids or are we just living for our grandkids or are we just living to please other people then we're just living their lives really we're not living our authentic lives and so the whole idea really is to get out of cities they don't really serve us get out of society as much as possible try to start at least start now growing your own food because that's what we're going to be doing in 2021 we're looking for land we're going to be building our community peaceful village and we're going to be starting to grow our own food and be self-sustainable is the only way forward for anyone to survive survive each of us needs to grow our own food to be self-sustainable if it's just by ourselves or our, our own families or if it's for the community it's all up to us so i really love you all whatever you do i wish you all the best for 2021 and beyond and much love to all of you for everything that you do all your endeavors and thank you so much again for all the support and love i haven't been very often on social media but I've sent out an email newsletter just recently uh, inquiring about if people want to help us to build this peaceful village. Come join us. Down below, we're gonna, I'm going to be posting the peaceful village, uh, all the information about peaceful village. There's going to be more updates as time goes on and as well as some updates and things going on on the world vegan community forum and that's really about it for now everybody again once again thank you so much for all the support and all the love if you want to donate something money funds uh, material items if you just want to help us in any way uh, there will be some links down below on how to do that that's really about it everybody thanks for joining me much love to you and your family for 2021. And don't forget to support uh, my work, our work, and um, get my books. Uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Subscribe to my email newsletter. And I'll see you soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.